Welcome back, everyone. Easter is Sunday, and that means chicks and bunnies are going to get a whole lot more popular. They sure are, and they are very cute, but they might not exactly be the perfect pet. Queen of the Jungle, Kelly Deedring Harris is here to talk more about Hi. this. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I see that you're holding one of the chickens. Yes, which was once a cute, tiny oh, little chick. Yes. That thing just... <laughs> you, you can... Did you see that? It knows what you have. Oh, I know. But oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead and feed her. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, drop that one. There you go. Oh, there we go. Whoa, there. she's hungry. Now, wow. So look at the other ones coming oh, now. Here you go. got their attention. So here's the deal. You can see what I'm holding. They're this so is, cute. Yeah, yeah, they're so cute. This yeah. is a baby chicken. This is Billy Ray because this is a special type of Polish chicken that has that little um, mullet hair. Yeah, I love the hair. That's where they call great. it Billy Ray. But here's the thing. A lot of families go out and purchase Feed baby bunnies yeah, I'm doing and baby chickens because it's Easter time. And they're available and they're relatively inexpensive. Yeah, they're, they're in pet stores everywhere They're now. in pet stores, yeah. they're in food, feed stores, they're pretty much everywhere. But the thing is, is that they live five to ten years. So the chickens that you're looking at are actually being raised by a high school here in the FFA. So they have a really great life. But if you buy a baby chicken, right. you must be prepared to, uh, to live with it and raise it and give it love and comfort and care for five to ten years. Now, in defense See? of people that do want to buy chickens, yes. there are people that do not care for them. Yeah. And use them for eggs and have them as pets that's and they great. have room for them yes. but no, not everybody can do that no that's absolutely right so if you have a backyard and you are going to purchase a chicken coop and you do want to have chickens they make great pets for the backyard because they will eat bugs and insects and keep your backyard bug free they also lay eggs these are Easter eggers so they lay really beautiful blue organic eggs oh, wow. free range blue. eggs yeah they're gorgeous wow. eggs so I just like to tell people and I say this a lot when I'm here is that when you do get a pet an animal a mm -hmm. chicken around it. Make sure you look up the lifespan. Mm. The lifespan on a chicken is five to ten years. If you are prepared to give that animal the care that it needs for five to ten years, then I say go for it because right. they really are cool, cool animals because and they can be fun and a great learning tool uh, for absolutely. kids. Absolutely. And a lot of these animals, unfortunately, end up going from the pet store to the shelter, the shelters, even to just weeks society. or months after yes. Easter. And that's just not fair to the animal. It's not fair. And actually, I've got a bunny I want to bring out because the sure. bunny is from the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary. And um, the primate sanctuary cares for Thank all you. animals. And so they'll take in a bunny or a goat, even though they're a primate sanctuary. Yeah. But look at this is a little baby bunny, relatively so inexpensive yeah. sure. to get at the pet store. And if your kids are looking at you and they're so cute and they go, Mom, I want the bunny, just remember this little bunny is a dwarf bunny. It's going to mm. live 12 years. 12 yeah. years. 12 so years. It's just and they, and like they become a dog. giant bunnies, don't they? No, some I'm of them, <laughs> no, some of them get really large. Do they really? Actually, there are certain breeds of bunnies that get as big as a small dog. Right, and, and then they're not so cute anymore, and people are like, ah, to take them to the shelter. Well, yeah. back on not the chicken cool. thing, there are some, <laughs> a, some HOAs will not allow you to have chickens. That's so you right. Might, before you go out and get your coop and buy your chickens and everything, you got to make sure you can have one legally. You, uh, you're absolutely right. So what you want to do is first check with your county. Okay, mm. so if you're living throughout the country, check with your county. A lot of counties are now allowing chickens. Chickens are becoming very popular because people are realizing that they, they are kind of cool animals to have. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing is check with your HOA. Your yes. HOA can regulate whether or not you can have chickens. So before you purchase any animal, just make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah. That's yeah. just what I like to preach because I never want to tell people what they should and shouldn't. Yeah. Of course right. not, but of it's, course. Really, it's really good advice yes. to, you know, to understand what, what pet you're, you're getting into. and what you're getting into. I, I, I love that <laughs> this chicken is going after our little... Uh, our little mama, mama hen. You know what? They're sweet. They're lovers. Actually, one of these chickens, Autumn, lives in the home of Joel, who brought the chickens, lives inside their home. Love that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, Kelly Deedring Harris, thank you very yeah. much for coming Thanks and, and for important advice. Us. And I think I want to keep this chicken. And happy Aww. Easter. Happy, happy Easter, Easter to you. We'll be right back. Oh, wait. No, we won't. We have some fun Easter items to share with a few lucky winners. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We have these